Hi, my name is Darren Belanco, founder of OnlineThinking.net. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and install Google Analytics on your WooCommerce website. Today, we are only going to be looking at the activating of your Google Analytics account on your WooCommerce store. If you do want to learn how to set up your analytics account from start to finish and then have that code installed just on your WordPress website, I did cover that in a video last week and you can find a link to that down in the description below. If you have a WooCommerce store and you're looking to set up and activate Google Analytics, it's not as hard as what you might think and it's quite easy to do with a plugin that's been made by WooCommerce. So all you need to do to do this is head over to the dashboard of your WooCommerce store and then head over to the plugin library for WordPress. Then you're just going to hit add new plugin and once you're on the plugin library page, you're just going to head over to the search plugins box on the right hand side and search for WooCommerce Analytics. You'll see that there's a few plugins which come up here for Google Analytics dashboard plugin and enhanced e-commerce analytics. But the plugin that I like to use most is the WooCommerce Google Analytics integration, which is by WooCommerce. And the reason I like to use this is because if WooCommerce does any updates on their software and any of their plugins, I know that they are going to update their Google Analytics integration as well to make sure that it works. If you're using a plugin by another plugin creator and then WooCommerce does any updates on their sides, you're more likely to have plugin conflicts and errors along the way. So I go for the Google Analytics plugin by WooCommerce and you can just hit the Install Now button. Once that plugin has installed, you can just hit Activate. And then once our plugin is activated, all we need to do now is go and set it up. To find this plugin in your WordPress dashboard, it is under the WooCommerce and the Settings menu. And once you're on the WooCommerce Settings page, you're going to head through to the Integration tab. On the Integration tab, you'll see that there's a new link at the top here which has been inserted, which is called Google Analytics. You can hit that link over there. And over here, we'll have the page for our Google Analytics on our store. You can see here we are being asked for our Google Analytics ID. This ID is the analytics ID for your analytics account and you can find that by going through to your Google Analytics account. Once you're in your Google Analytics account for the website that you want to connect, you'll see there's a settings cog over here at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. You can click that cog and you'll be brought to a new page over here where you get your account, your property and your view and you can just hit the property settings over there. And you'll see here that here is our tracking ID there. You can also go through to the tracking info and the tracking code tab. And you'll see that it loads up top here as well. So this is the number that we are going to copy. You can hit copy there and you can go back to your WordPress dashboard and you can just paste that number in there. Setting of the domain name is optional and we don't need to do that. Now, here is something that you want to keep in mind. If you're using a, another Google Analytics tracking plugin where you've installed the base analytics code on your website to track your visits and your views on your website, you do not need to check this box over here. If you have not installed Google Analytics on your website before, then you do need to check this box. In last week's video, I covered the creating of the analytics account and installing that on our website using the Google Site Kit plugin. So we are going to leave this box unchecked. However, we do still want to track the shopping behavior and all of the e-commerce metrics on our website. And that is what this plugin is going to help us with. So over here, we can just go and select all the rest of these toggles down here. You'll see that these are all selected already for us. And over here, you can see our e-commerce transactions here for purchase transactions and add to cart events. You're also going to want to enable the enhanced e-commerce, which gives us some additional actions and events that happen on our website, such as remove from cart events, product detail views, checkout process initiated. And these are very important when we get to the conversion optimization point on our website, because we can then use all of these actions and events that happen on our sites as indication points of where users are dropping off at what parts of our funnel and on what pages they are falling off our website and that can be an indication of what we need to go and change to make some improvements. So once you've gone and checked all of the checkboxes on this page over here, 
you can then go and hit the Save Changes button. And that's it. You have now installed and activated Google Analytics for your e-commerce store. As you can see here, it says, please allow Google Analytics 24 hours to start displaying results. So with this, there isn't really a way that you can easily track and see if the analytics side of things is working correctly. What you can do though, is wait a couple of days or a couple of hours and see if any user activity is being tracked on your site. Or what you can do is you can also have a look for any purchases or transactions that get made. And if we just head over to our Google Analytics account, I'm going to show you where you can find all the e-commerce data that our setup is now going to track. And you'll see if you just go to the account that you've connected and under the conversions menu on the left hand side, you'll see there's an e-commerce section. Once you go to the e-commerce section, you'll see if you go to the overview tab, this is now going to say it's setting up for the view. Once this has started collecting enough data, you'll be able to come through here and if your tag is working properly on your website and it's collecting your e-commerce data, you should start seeing some tables being pulled through here and you should start seeing your product performance as well as your transactions and a whole bunch of other useful stats here. I really hope you found this information in this video useful today. Analytics is one of the most important parts of having an online business because without analytics or the data for us to make informed decisions, it's very hard for us to optimize things and grow your business. That's it for today's video everyone. Feel free to like it and please leave a comment below and I look forward to seeing you again next week.